Hello everybody, this is Jacob Vile. Today I'm going to show you how to clamp true power wattage coming out of your amplifier using a couple of simple tools and some test tones that I'm going to give you some trials on to show you, hey, this is how I found how much power my amplifier is putting out. Whether you have a small single 200 watt amp or a 20,000 watt amps of multiple amps, you can figure out through these rules and tech tests that I'm going to show you in a second using these tools to show you how to find out what your clamp power watch RMS is on your amplifier. So if your amp's rated at 2000 watts, you may not be seeing 2000 watts. So you never know. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, first off, just want to say that you want to make sure you have your head unit and your base knob all the way up. Your head unit should be up to where you feel comfortable it is. It needs to be set without clipping. So I'm gonna have it turned up to where I know it's not clipping. And let me go ahead into the back where I have my staged amplifier. So I do a lot of different videos that I plan to come with different tips and tricks you can do with your system. Regardless of what type of system you have, you can use these concepts. So in the previous video I posted, you saw how you can find your box rise and impedance. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to find your true clamped wattage power coming out of your amplifier. So keep in mind that this is only going to work if you have these tools. So you need a multimeter, you need a clamp meter, and then you're just gonna need some form of test tone frequency response that you're able to test on your iPod or your Bluetooth device or however you wanna use USB. I recommend using a device to where you can do a frequency response. So my volume level's up, my bass knob's up on my, my system. So I'm gonna show you First off, before that, just remember, you want your clamp meter on your positive terminals of your speaker input on your amplifier, and then you want your multimeter on your positive and negative, so one positive and one negative of your inputs to your monoblock Class D amplifier. You're gonna be clamp, this is clamping power to a monoblock single channel amplifier, not four channel or two channel. All right, so I have my multimeter set to voltage, and I have my, my clamp meter set to amperage. So I'm gonna find out what this amplifier, this is a 2200 watt amplifier, what it is clamping out. And it's probably not gonna be 100%. I'll say that this, this is gonna be within around an 80% margin. I'm not gonna to go to clipping. I don't wanna blow anything. I don't wanna damage anything. Don't wanna spike my voltage. I don't wanna pop a coil or clip. So this is gonna be clean signal. So this should be within 80% range. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I got my frequency response here. Let me go make sure I have everything turned up and on before I get started. As I mentioned, make sure you got your, yep, my bass knob's all the way up. Yeah. All right, my bass knob's all the way up. So always have your bass knob all the way up and have your head unit set to where you feel comfortable. I clip at 56 volume, I'm gonna do 52 volume. That'll be another video to show clipping. All right. But don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Obviously, this isn't the most clean system, but it's the concept that matters. So you can learn and use these tips for your own system, whether you have a single sub or you got a huge wall with 815s or etc. All right, so let's get this done. So right now you can see my subs barely on right now. I have just a single Crescendo 10. So we're gonna see how it does. First, you've got low volume to make sure you know it's running right. All right, so yep. I, I wanna find a frequency. I'm gonna find a frequency where I have low rise. So you wanna find a frequency where you don't see, you see minimal change between your amps and your voltage input. So what I'm gonna do is just keep letting these tones go through one by one until I find out where my rise is less. So 32 Hertz is where I'm at right now. So 0.9 and 1.2 is where I'm at right now. So let's go to the next one. 33, I wanna get something that's usually within 0.1 or 0.2 decimals. So that's 1.1, 1.3, let's go up two frequencies, let's see if that changes it any. All right, 1.5 and 1.4, oh, 1.4 and 1.4, see that? So that means 35 hertz is gonna be a really good tone for me to find out what the wattage is. So this is gonna go quick. If you hear anything loud noise from anything, it's gonna be because the subwoofer might be bottoming out because the power is gonna be really high. This subwoofer is not ready for the 2000 watts it's probably gonna see. So and keep in mind your voltage drop as well, which my voltage drop is gonna be minimal since it's got a really good uh, battery bank and a high output alternator. All right, so these two numbers are gonna be what you watch and you're gonna to wanna to multiply these two numbers for your watts. So your amps times your voltage for your 
results. So let's do it. Low volume first. 7 times 7. All right, so that's 7 times 7. So that was 49 watts. Real power, 49 watts. Sounds low, but that's, that's the power out of that right there. All right, now I'm going to turn it up. Cause the sub to bottom out there a little bit, but y'all saw the power rating voltage, the way that the amps and voltage went a lot higher with that. All right, we're going to do it again. All right, that's 22 and 20. So that was a lot better. That was a little under a thousand watts to that sub. So the subwoofer does handle the power. It's just what happens is that the subwoofer gets to a certain point and it starts bottoming out because the subwoofer doesn't like that frequency. So I need to raise my frequency for the test. So the subwoofer in this enclosure is not liking that frequency. If your subwoofer does that, then you want to go up on the, go up on your frequency. So even though I had low rise there, it showed you that. So, all right, now for the next one to see your power range. So I'm gonna go more towards where I peak. So around 53 Hertz. So this will be a little easier for me to do for real power. All right, so let me turn it up and we'll find out the power. This is how you clamp guys. All right. If you can hear it a little bit, that little chattery sound, but that, that means that the subwoofer isn't liking that power. So that was 28 and 24. So if you do that math real quick, 28 times 24. So that's still low power watts going to the subwoofer, but that's how you clamp where your true watts are coming from your amplifier. So around seven to 800 watts going to this subwoofer. True wattage, non-clipping. And it gets to a point where your subwoofer doesn't like the power. It depends on the enclosure for how your output is on your enclosure. But that's all I got. I hope you guys learned something for, hey, this is how you clamp power watts, true watts out of your system. So it's a 2000 watt amp. And that's what I got out of it. So, of course, I didn't turn it up all the way. The subwoofer has some things it doesn't like. Got to change my subsonic and my gains. I could have been clipping there. You never know. I doubt it, though, because the power, power would have been a lot higher. That's all I got. I hope you guys learned something. If you have questions, comment. See you on the next video.